too hard and you not actually hold on then it will just flip you over into so. that okay, a bit quicker than I thought that's nice about four or five attempts yeah makes a change yeah <laughs> so we've started training next to a river for one reason only to jump off the bridge onto a boat fortunately there's a lot of fun little challenges around here so the fact that the boats don't come that often is okay because we can train keep an eye out while we train there's a lot of people out in the city hopefully we won't get like caught or told off because i'm sure someone's going to call the police when we were scouting out in the bridge spot the other day we found there's a sequence of plyos cat passes to this outer wall and then into the water so it's basically like a nice little parkour sequence element into a into a like a water jump so you don't get that all that often do you adam Boys. we're waiting for the boat to come and it doesn't seem very likely today, but fortunately we found this lovely set of walls into the river, so try and get some pliers into the water. There is this boat coming in right now. Hopefully it doesn't stop in our landing zone. That jump wasn't too bad as well, the first one. Just about controlling the pliers. They're quite droppy. The distance isn't big, but the drop's big. So if you overshoot one, the second comes harder, so. Worst case has occurred. That boat is coming here and blocking our fucking space, man. Just as the, the first of us, Max, is ready to do the jump, this boat turns up. So Max is going to dive in, he says, and go under the boat, out the other side. <laughs> we'll put that clip at the very end, so watch till the end. We're going to do a photo. Hey, man. With you. Yeah, sure, man. How are you? Great. I've been a fan from you since like 2014 or nice so. Nice one, man. Thank you. <laughs> I just went down to uh, ask one of the staff of that big boat how long they'll be there. Apparently it does hourly tours. We don't want to chill next to a scary challenge for that kind of time, so we're probably going to find a quieter area. Maybe we'll just come back later on and find a window to tick it all off. What's the plan, Drew? Uh, from the rail to the pole, stay on there, hopefully come back. But obvious repercussions if you miss being water and wetness. Yeah. Yes, mate. Mm. That one back is weird. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes, bro. Yes. Uh, that is so weird. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Toby's got an idea to run across this roof and go to this pole and do something fruity off the end. So hopefully that ferry thing moves and we can go back and do the plows and shit. But other than that, we're just waiting and training. Yeah, it seems like the boat is now gone and people are getting ready to go for the plyos and the cat parts. I'm just so afraid of water and like the current and stuff. Never really seen the current moving as fast. And like, I think the last time I jumped into water was the cenote in uh, Mexico and that was a push for me to go for. Jumping into water again, not so sure. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Ready to pick up where we left off. Basel Store Army, let us know. Have you seen this? been done before if not you're about to see it me and max want to do the plyos down it's like quite a lot of impact and you need to be like ready and you need to be prepared to take it because if you don't if you buckle you're going to hit some concrete nasty. yeah yeah so that's right. be ready before anything like this Crazy! <laughs> All these people like gathering in, like, what the hell has just happened? <laughs> 
<laughs> that was so mad. What the fuck? How was it? Yeah, oh, it's so fast. I got used to this one, but this second one surprised me. Just trying to stay controlled and not like overshoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that fun. looks so fucking yeah. insanely fun. It's like parkour mixed with cliff, cliff diving. We've always wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what a clip! Boom, dun, dun, bam. So much airtime, so much hang time as well. Everyone came running down the stairs afterwards to like see where he ended up. Scenes. It just just yeah, scenes. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Just for fun. Just for fun, yeah. Just for fun. Just for fun. This is what we do for fun. <laughs> Benj is actually now, he, do, he doesn't actually do parkour without a camera in his mouth. <laughs> Word on the street. Tighten that up. <laughs> Don't try and copy this. Yeah, don't bother. Don't I just feel like fun. this is a cool thing to do and chuck it. You have to have a backlog of experience. <laughs> that was Max's first time doing that movement. Nailed it. Because he's very good at what he does. Don't chuck yourself around a place. You're going to hurt yourself, all right? Yeah! That's so fun. Fucking hell, that was so much fun. So rare to find like a, a chunky bit of parkour into like a, a decent sized water jump. That felt so sick. I'm still kind of like on the come down from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. nice. Good feeling. Drew's prepping the cat pass. Tense moments, uh, just prepping. Obviously, you've got the added uh, pressure from the crowd. Like, they want to see something cool, but. He's got to wait and feel comfortable inside his own head to be able to do it first. And it seems like he's getting close, it's just that constant battle you've got with yourself and then you've got the added pressure of the crowd, so it's definitely hard. Like, what the? Yes! That was a fucking good battle. That I didn't know you were going for the front sick run. Diving it up. <laughs> awesome, mate. But that was a solid fucking battle, that one. I knew I could do the cat pass, but as soon as there's all these people watching you, it's just like distractions, distractions. Then you start doubting yourself, and it's like, if I go over the wall solidly, I've done the whole thing, and that was it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> fucking sick. Me, Max and Benj have completed the challenges that we want to do now. Toby's moving on to the next one. It's pretty fucking gnarly. Run through the science. Initially was looking at the Capri as well as Drew was. But then you also mentioned you could clear this Capri. You could clear straight to the water. I moved along the wall a bit and there's an option further down. So you don't have to go over this wall. You can just vault from the first wall all the way over into the river Rhine. <laughs> Right now, just making sure 100% that hitting that rail is not possible. Never go for cat passing if you think you're going to hit your knees. Just fly over it head first <laughs> and make sure you have a clean sweep to the water. Next up, run up. Come through as if I'm going for a double. And then open out again, wait, and then judge the rotation in the air, so I just don't want to over rotate. Yeah, yeah. Toby has decided to do like a double technique. Although it's scarier flying head first, it's so much safer for something like this. Because you don't need to worry about hitting your knees as you come through on a cat pass, you can just keep your chest down, hips up, and just fucking fly. Oh my god! It's a risico. English, sorry. It's risky. Huh? It's dangerous, it's a good good friend. Friend. of what course. People? Yeah, he's a good friend. We've been doing it a long time. Yes, man. Of course, man. <laughs> Peace, man. <laughs> yeah.
that was something special to witness. Fucking yes! That was next level! What was that? What? I'm fucking... <laughs> that was one of the most crazy... Can't speak. That was so fucking amazing. To what? <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice fucking one. good, man. That was, that was honestly one. next level. <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. That was unbelievable. Oh <laughs> that was so good, bro. Yeah, that's I, me, I was just sitting up there and I had no idea. I thought he was just prepping the normal cat pass. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Just like, what the heck? That's just next level skills. Aside from like doing it, broken the mental barrier, when it goes perfectly to plan, that's the best bit about it. Being in the water, like that couldn't have gone better. That is exactly how I thought it would go. Complete the challenge. A star tick, like, how could you get better? <laughs> I came over the front and like, you can just see the whole thing and then just worked it, it out. Worked, yeah. worked out. <laughs> nice one, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Safe, man. Nice to meet you. Still at Army, Switzerland. It's strong. Peace out, bro. Here we go. See, I've, all, I've always had a bad experience with water, so that's why you never really see me jumping in. Watch out. Water. Whoa. But now I'm going to try and break that fear by going into this river, I think it is, yeah. With a hella current. With two plastic poles. The cool thing about this, this river is that the current is so strong that you can, that you can just drift down the river. Pretty much you can travel through the whole of Basel City in Switzerland. Just by sitting and chilling in the river. We did it like six years ago. We've been talking about it ever since, so we're going to do it again. Ready boys? Gazelle, gazelle. Ah! Go George. This is the river experience, everyone! Yeah. Uh, a little beach with all the Swiss people on it. Hello, Swiss people! <laughs> Woo!